of all the teams one would expect to make a blockbuster move, few had the Cleveland Cavaliers at the top of their list, but that's exactly what is happening. According to Shams of The Athletic, Cleveland is trading Colin Sexton, Larry Markinen, um, Ochai Obaji, I think I pronounced that correctly, and three first-round draft picks along with two pick swaps to the Utah Jazz in exchange for Donovan Mitchell. And while it will be exciting to see Mitchell play in Cleveland with a young, talented roster, this trade got me thinking, Danny Ainge is at it again. Yes, if you're unfamiliar, Danny Ainge, the former GM of the Boston Celtics who traded away Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett for multiple high-value draft picks that ultimately turned into Boston's current championship contending roster, just did basically the same exact thing in Utah. Ainge is blowing the whole thing up, stacking future draft picks, and ensuring Utah remains a successful organization for years to come. Mind you, Ainge also recently brought in four additional first-round draft picks when he traded Rudy Gobert to the Minnesota Timberwolves. So when all is said and done, in these two trades alone, Danny Ainge has brought in seven unprotected first-round draft picks and three first-round pick swaps. And by the way, Sexton, Markinen, Abaji are all decent players. Not going to make up for the loss of Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, but a few years down the road, Utah will be filled with talent and the Jazz will be contending for a championship. Overall, the Jazz could have as many as 15 first-round draft picks through 2029. They have three next year alone, and if the Cavs struggle at all from 2025 through 2029, those are going to be high-value lottery picks. The future is bright in Salt Lake. I don't know how Danny got away with this again. Cavs fans have reason to be excited in the short term, but they got absolutely fleeced in this deal. They traded away their future, and for what? To be the fifth best team in the Eastern Conference? Yes, Darius Garland is good. They have a strong starting lineup. Kevin Love is coming off the bench in all likelihood. But is that team beating Boston, Milwaukee, or Philadelphia? I don't think so. And another thing to keep in mind, I did a story on this yesterday. LeBron James wants to play with both his sons, Bronny, who will enter the league in a couple years, and Bryce two years after that. He was quoted in Sports Illustrated saying, quote, I'd definitely be looking at who got first round picks in 2024, 2025, things of that nature, 2026, 27, I pay attention to that type of stuff. I would have never envisioned LeBron in Utah, but the chances of that happening just went up significantly. Good for Danny Ainge, that man still got it, and happy for the Cavs, they'll do very well in jersey sales over the next two years.